Hey YouTube, um, here, um, I'm making this video, um, this is an over, over boys video, um, or overlay video, I don't know how to say it, and, um, basically what I'm trying to do is show you, um, what, um, I was, um, told to do, um, and I've done it ever since, and it's worked for me so far I don't have any problem with it so um this is basically when you get a new acrylic brush in this case I'm going to be using a number six and it's um a hundred percent Kalinsky from Japan and um I'm going to show you what I do in order to prepare my brushes for first use as well as to maintain them so um basically here um i'm just saying that what i just told you in spanish so um another thing i want to point out is the little plastic cap on the um bottom of your brush that holds your brush bristles in place uh, make sure you keep that <coughs> I never throw it away just because after I clean them and I let them air dry for a little while I put it back in that way um it doesn't bump into other brushes that I might have and the bristles don't open so um I always keep it as you see here in the video I'm actually showing you that if it fits just put it on the back of your brush so you don't lose it there are some brushes that you can put them on the back, so just make sure you you hold on to it and keep it safe. Okay, and then um, that's um, basically what what I'm showing you that um, this brush is a for 3D. Um, it's a size six. Um, what I recommend too is that if you're a beginner um, or just starting out with acrylic. Um, I would recommend for you to um, start with a number six. Once you get the um, the feel for it or the idea the hand to handle the brush with the acrylic beads, then um, you'll notice when when you need a bigger brush. So um, then you would just move up to a number eight or ten or twelve, um, whatever brush you feel comfortable. So I would I I would always. Uh, recommend that you start with the smallest one that in in my in my opinion is a number six that you can use it for 3d as well as you can use it for um to form a nail so so yeah so um right now what i'm going to show you is how to get this brush prepared Okay, so okay, so here what I'm showing you guys is um, if you have any um, pliers or any um, critical nippers, um, and those little things, um, this is what I do. I use those just because I just want to apply pressure. I don't want to fold it all the way, and I fold it on one side. And then I turn my brush around and fold it on the other side. The reason I'm doing this is because <clears throat> um, I want to um, put pressure on the bristles of the brush. So, um, and basically, what I'm doing is in the long run, I'm trying to save my brush by applying a little pressure so that the um, bristles don't come out. Um, throughout the use of your brush. I, I don't know, in my opinion, it just makes your your brush um, last a little bit longer. And I'm just up, um, putting a little plush, uh, pressure. I'm not actually folding it all the way because I don't want to change the, um, the style of my brush. I don't want to make it flat or I don't want to make it round. So just a little pressure, just enough so the bristles are um, really um how can i say just to make sure that the bristles bristles really stay in there and um 
Now what I'm doing is in this little dish with acrylic, I am actually trying to take all the the bubbles out of my brush and I'm trying to take make it um soft. Okay. And um just cleaning it, trying to make it make it wet enough so that I can clean it, make it soft. You see me dipping in and out of the brush. And then after that, what I do is I clean it flat. Even though it's a um, pointy brush, I clean it flat. And the reason I do that is because if there's any loose hairs on your brush, you want to get it out now. That way, um, when you do start using your, your brush, um, sometimes when, when it's new, you don't know how to prepare it or anything like that. Um, you start working on it and then on your set you find hair that probably you didn't see because you couldn't take it out on time or after you're actually done and putting your top coat out you, on you see that there's hairs from the brush so um, this is what I'm doing now I'm preparing my brush making sure that if there is loose hair or loose bristles on my brush that I go ahead and clean that Okay, now what I'm showing you is that the shape of my brush has completely, basically disappeared. It's now a flat brush instead of being a pointed brush for 3D. So this is the way that I um, clean my 3D brushes as well and um, I reshape them. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just basically turning my brush around and I'm turning my brush and I'm turning my hand. So I'm slanted in like a 45 degrees and just turning my brush so that my brush can get its tip back and um, that's basically how I form my form my 3d brushes again the same thing as well when you're using it for your 3d every time you um, you're going back for acrylic or you're cleaning your brush for acrylic with acrylic I'm sorry make sure that you do this step this is going to maintain here your 3D brushes to its best shape and um, and it's really going to help you out in the long run so um, this is the way that I do it um, maybe it's not the right way but this is the, right, the way that I was taught and until now most of my 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 brushes have maintained um, for a while now I do have some that um, I still have like my first beginning brushes that are all messed up, but um, my newest brushes that I probably have had for like a year or two years now are still in good shape because I um, I keep them clean and and I always I've learned to prepare them. For me, I think it makes a lot of di a lot difference than just taking it out of the packet and start using it. As well, I wanted to let you know that I did this with monometer, monomer, sorry, I didn't do it with brush cleaner. I did it with the monomer that I was playing on, that I use with my um, brushes. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below or inbox me. And I'll see you soon with another video. Thanks.